It turns out that the delay of The Flash and the film now coming out after Shazam! Fury of the God caused a problem for the Shazam! sequel. So let's talk about what exactly happened. So this was confirmed to us by David F. Sandberg, aka the director of Shazam 2. And he said that previously, when they had the release schedule, The Flash was supposed to come out before Shazam. And the reason that the costumes in Shazam changed was going to be explained due to the whole multiverse thing. Essentially, that was their escape plan if anybody questioned the choice. And a lot of people have questioned why did they change the costumes because they look fine in the first film. Well now we know it's because of Barry messing with the multiverse. But they no longer can use that because Barry has not messed with the multiverse yet and sequentially it doesn't flow like that anymore so now the suit explanation is just non-existent. Um, and that's fine. I don't care. Who cares? Right? Like who cares? Um, the thing that we should mostly be concerned about is getting the best film out and seeing the best film. Little suit changes don't matter to me. You know, I saw people talking about the changes made to Spider-Man costumes in No Way Home. Like, they added an extra line in Tobey Maguire's and suddenly Marvel Studios is the devil. Andrew Garfield's had a raised web where it wasn't before. Suddenly it's the worst decision they've ever made. They shouldn't have even brought him back. Who cares? It's a suit. Like, is that really going to upset you? Like, are you going to watch the whole thing? Be like, man, I really like that Shazam too, but man, they didn't explain those suit changes. And it's because of delays of another film. I gave it a nine, but now it's like a three. Maybe a two, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. No, it's stupid. And I guess if you act like that, then um, I don't know what to tell you. But you should probably get a better hobby than talking about films on Twitter or whatever social media app people use these days to let people know that they're cinephiles.